Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem maximum number of balloons. We're given an input string text and we want to use the characters from that string to form as many instances of the word balloon as possible. Of course, from that input string, we can use each character at most once. So it's basically like we're given, you know, so suppose this example, right? We're given a bunch of characters. We don't have to use all of them, right? But for each character, we can only use it once. So like this individual O, we can use it once. Once we've used it, can't use it again. But there is a second O. We can use this one as well, right? But that one, uh, can't reuse that one as well. And no matter what input string that we're actually given, our target is always going to be to create the word balloon, which is spelled like this. So to create the word balloon, we need one uh, B character, one A character, uh, two L characters. So actually, let's start, you know, creating a map almost over here. L will need two characters. O will also need two characters. N will need one character character. Now there's a lot of ways to solve this problem. The way I'm kind of doing this is making it obvious to see that, okay, if we had a single B character, like in our input string, whatever it happened to be, if we only had one B character, it doesn't really matter how many characters we have of the rest. We could have 10 A's, 10 L's, you know, 10 of everything. But if we only have one B, we're limited by that. That's like our bottleneck. If we had two Bs, we know that we could have, we could create the word balloon at most two times, but maybe not even two times, right? Depending on how many we have of the remaining characters. Similarly, if we had uh, for Ls, suppose we had four Ls, that means we can create the word balloon at most two times, but maybe not even two times. How did I get that though? Basically, we're taking the number of actual occurrences of uh, you know, whatever character in the input string and then dividing it by the required number of characters. So what we should do is take the input string and construct a similar hash map for basically each of these characters. You know, if we had a Z or something, we don't really care how many Zs we have, but if we have a B, we want to know the count of that. Suppose we had one B, one A, two, two, and one. Well, in this case, you can see obviously we have just enough to create this word a single time. Now, if we had two ends, we still have just enough to create the word a single time because we're limited by the other characters. But if we had twice as many as we needed for each of these, if we had two, two, four, four, two, then we could create the word two times. What's a good algorithm to actually figure out the, uh, the most number of times we can create the word? Basically, what I was talking about before, we're going to take the real number of characters, divide it by the required number to create the word. So then we'll have a new calculation. So in this case, uh, this is going to be two, two. We're basically getting the ratio of characters that we have versus how many we need. So and then from this, we're going to take the minimum of those, right? Because the minimum of these is going to tell us our bottleneck. For example, if I changed the number of N's, or actually, let's say the number of B's, instead of having two, we actually had one B, then our ratio here would also be one. So from these values, we want to take the minimum because we want to find our bottleneck. Because in this case, we can only create the word balloon one time because we're limited by the number of Bs. Now, what's the time complexity to do this? Well, we're just gonna really have to iterate through the entire input string. So whatever the size of that happens to be is big O of N, you know, using, uh, after iterating through it, we can create these maps and then these calculations are pretty simple to do. You know, this is basically a hash map and we're gonna create a hash map for the input string as well, you know, to get these values. So the memory complexity is also gonna be big O of N where N is the size of the input string. So with that said, we can jump into the code now. Okay, so let's code it up. The first thing I'm gonna do is, actually let's not initialize our result just yet. So the first thing we really wanna do is create a hash map for the input string. So let's call that count text. We're gonna count the occurrences of each character. Now I'm gonna assume you know how to, you know, initialize a hash map using a for loop, uh, but just to save time, I'm going to use a counter uh, because this is like a built-in data structure in Python, which will take some string and then count the occurrences of it. If our interviewer really wanted us to write out the code to do this, of course we could do that. But maybe to save time, it's always nice to ask your interviewer if they're fine with you using some built-in function. So this is just a, so count text is just a hash map counting each character. Let's do the same for balloon and I'm just going to call it balloon. And 
you know, it's feeding into this uh, function. We're just gonna pass in the string balloon itself. Again, we could hard code a hash map or we could write a for loop to go through each character, but this is just a little faster. Before we go through uh, both of these, uh, you know, hash maps and getting those ratios, we wanna know what's the minimum ratio, like I was showing in the drawing, right? That's gonna be our result. So what would be a good default value to set this to? Well, we could set it to a uh, float of infinity just to have it to be a really big number because we want to know what the minimum is. So by setting it to this, it would be uh, a good default value. You could do that, but if you don't have like an infinite function or you don't even remember what it is, we could also actually just set uh, the result initially equal to the length of the input string text because we know it's not possible to create the word balloon more times than there are characters in the input string. So this is also a good default value to set it to. Once we have that set up, let's actually go through each unique character in the word balloon, right? By doing this, we're going through our hash map. And what we want to know is that ratio I was talking about. So we're going to take the count text. So the number of occurrences of this character C uh, and then divide it by the number of occurrences of that character in the balloon string. So we know B occurs once, L occurs twice, right? That's some potential values this could be. Whatever this ratio is, we wanna find the minimum of all the characters. So let's set the result equal to the minimum of itself and this particular ratio. By the way, in Python, you need uh, to do integer division. You need to use double slashes. That's why I'm doing that. And once this is done, all we have to do is return the result, which will be the minimum ratio, which will be the maximum number of times we can create the balloons, right? It'll basically tell us what our bottleneck was. Okay, so let's run the code to make sure that it works. And as you can see, yes, it does, and it's pretty efficient. So I really hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It really supports the channel a lot. Consider checking out my Patreon where you can further support the channel, and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.